Hi, my name is Rahul Mehrotra and I'm a product manager with the Microsoft Turing team. The Microsoft Turing team develops large-scale, state-of-the-art deep learning models to solve challenging business problems across Microsoft. So our models power technology behind Bing, Microsoft Office products, to Xbox, to Dynamics. Our mission is to expand the boundaries of natural language understanding, machine reading comprehension, question answering, transfer learning, reinforcement learning, computer vision, and even build interpretable models. The latest advancements in our natural language models are unlocking new capabilities and possibilities, including the ability to search across text, images, and even video. These tech minutes will cover what the future of search could look like if we combine all of these models together in a unified interface. Turingen is an important part of Microsoft's AI at scale initiative to enable next generation AI capabilities at scale. AI at Scale builds on years of systems work by Microsoft researchers, particularly in the area of parallel computation, that make it possible to more quickly train machine learning models at an unprecedented scale. Over the past few years, the Microsoft Turing team has developed state-of-the-art language models for, such as TULG, which is the Turing Universal Language Representation Model, and TNLG, the Turing Natural Language Generation Model. These models have drastically improved benchmarks on NLP tasks, such as question answering and semantic search, and continue to delight customers using Microsoft 365, Microsoft Bing, and much more. In some of our latest iterations, we have begun training multimodal models, which are trained on both images, text, and videos, compared to traditional models, which are only trained on a single modality. Computers are great at learning from huge amounts of data, uh, efficiently organizing that data, retrieving information from it, and rapidly processing it to deliver, deliver solutions. Humans, on the other hand, are much more effective at problem solving that require creativity, judgment, and empathy. So for computers to augment our imagination and inspire us to innovate, they need to be able to translate raw data into a deeper understanding of the human experience. Our AI at Scale initiative and Project Turing are unlocking the next generation of AI experiences, enabling us to train computers to become a more of a natural extension to ourselves and empower us to achieve more. At Turing, we've been building increasingly powerful models that can teach AI to effectively understand our world, help amplify our own ingenuity, and ultimately solve some of the world's greatest problems in AI and society. Recently, Microsoft introduced deep speed and Megatron powered model called MTTNLG, uh, which is Megatron Turing Natural Language Generation Model. It's the largest transformer model trained with over 530 billion parameters. Transformer-based language models in natural language processing or NLP have driven rapid progress in recent years, fueled by computational at scale, large data sets that have become available, and advanced algorithms and software to train these models. Language models with large number of parameters, more data, and more training acquire a much richer and deeper understanding of the language and of our world. As a result, they generalize well as zero-shot and few-shot learners with high accuracy on many NLP tasks and datasets. How are these models useful? Exciting downstream applications become very easy. So for example, if you want to do summarization, if you want to do translation, semantic search, or even code auto-completion, all become possible with the help of these large-scale models. So training these models, however, becomes a really challenging task, and mainly for two reasons. One, the large number of parameters can no longer fit in the memory on even the largest GPU available to us. And two, training these models can take unrealistically long times um, unless you pay special attention to optimizing for software, hardware, and the training algorithms. So training MTNLG was made possible by numerous innovations and breakthroughs across all AI axes. For example, Microsoft has achieved an unprecedented training efficiency by converging a state-of-the-art GPU-accelerated training infrastructure with a cutting-edge distributed learning software stack. We built a high-quality natural language training corpora with hundreds of billions of tokens and co-developed training recipes to improve optimization, efficiency, and stability. Last year, we announced a 17 billion parameter model, and this year we're announcing a 530 billion parameter model. And then we use these models to train conversational systems that allow users to have a back and forth conversation in natural language and really search for things that they're looking for without using keywords. 
So along with the generation models such as TNLG, Turing also has universal language representation models called TULR. In collaboration with Microsoft Research, Turing recently announced TULR v5, which is a 2.2 billion parameter model that achieves state-of-the-art results on Google's Extreme leaderboard. The Extreme benchmark covers 40 typologically diverse languages that span across 12 language families and cover nine tasks that require reasoning about different levels of syntax and semantics. TULR opens up opportunities for teams at Microsoft to make Microsoft technology accessible to everyone in the world. One of the great use cases of TULR is intelligent question answering. Intelligent question answering is one of the most useful and delightful features on Bing. With question answering, you can just ask a question and get the answer at top of the page without reading through pages and pages of text by yourself. With TULR, we take that beyond just English. With the help of TULR, Bing expanded its intelligent question answering feature to more than 100 languages, making AI and Bing more inclusive and accessible. What is amazing is that this is achieved using a language agnostic approach. In other words, the AI model generating the intelligent question answering in Urdu is the same one generating intelligent question answering in Romanian and Hindi, and all of this is possible with the help of our TULR model. Vision and language are inherently linked together. Language is a tool not only to communicate how we feel, but also what we see around us. Let's take an example. When you hear the phrase, a beautiful sunset on the beach, what happens? In your mind, you automatically see a beautiful sunset setting across the ocean. Single modality models like the natural language representation models have no concept of sight. So the phrase, a beautiful sunset on the beach, is just reduced to a grammatically correct sequence of words. Vision is also global modality. What that means is that that phrase sunset on a beach can be translated to any language, but the visual representation of the sunset on the beach would not change. Traditional multimodal models such as CLIP tie vision to a specific language, most commonly English, and fail to capture the universal property of vision. With the recently announced Turing Bletchley, or T Bletchley, we address both of these shortcomings. We take a multimodal approach that advances a computer's ability to understand language as well as understand images natively just from pixels. Turing Bletchley is a universal image language representation model that can perform image language tasks in 94 different languages. Turing Bletchley achieved state of the art results on English image language data sets as well as universal image language data sets. This is a breakthrough in deep learning and a significant advancement of Microsoft's AI capabilities. We considered the language modality with a universal first approach when developing this model. The result is truly one of a kind models or multimodal models that understands images and text across 94 different languages, resulting in some really impressive capabilities. For example, by utilizing a common image language vector space, Turing Bletchley can retrieve images that match a description in any language without using any of the surrounding metadata or text for that image. Bletchley can also find images that answer text-based questions in any language and it can also find images that are similar to other images. The goal of developing Turing Bletchley is to have a model that understands text and images as seamlessly as humans do. The first version of T Bletchley represents a significant breakthrough in this mission. We expect Turing Bletchley to improve question answering over images, image search, and image to image search across Bing and a whole suite of Microsoft products. The universal first approach highlights Microsoft's commitment to bring our products to customers across the globe, similar to our work with the Turing Universal Language Representation Model. So how are these models useful? Well, we took TNLR, TULR, and Turing Bletchley and built a demo where you can now search not only text, but also images, and not only in English, but also 100 different languages all through a conversational interface. And we think this is what future of search looks like. Let's take a look at a demo. This is a demo of what the future of search may look like using Turing models. What was the score of the Raptors game? The Toronto Raptors defeated the Washington Wizards last night. The final score was 109 to 100. Thank you. Raptors are a really good team this year. This is the future of search, a fun, friendly, and informative conversational experience based on Turing's large scale models, producing freeform responses that can leverage context from various systems such as search, question answering, 
and its vast knowledge due to months of pre-training. A system like this will not only be able to get you the information you want, such as where to buy tickets or learn more about the players, but also maintain context and make the conversation personable. The combination of information retrieval and conversational experience will make for a very engaging user experience and make searching for information more natural. With the help of Turing ULG, users will be able to search and keep the conversation going in any language. In the future, when searching for something, you should be able to ask the system for a summary of a web page instead of reading long pieces of text to get the information you want. With help of the recently announced Turing Bletchley model, users will be able to search for images using natural language and keep the conversation going without having to open a new tab to perform a new image search. So that was a demo of what we think the future of search could look like. Thank you for listening and learning more about TNLR, TULR, and Turing Bletchley. All of these models are available through the private preview program, or if you're an academic researcher, they're also available to the Microsoft Turing Academic Program. With these models, we are super excited for the future of search and to see what you've come up with. Once again, thank you for listening. We have to actually rethink the entire AI stack. What is reinforcement learning? Let's look at an interactive demo. All our code is now open source.